to create a Canva NFT collection. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create an entire NFT collection on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, Canva is a free tool and you can easily create many different kinds of designs using Canva. So we're not going to create a singular NFT. We're going to be creating an entire collection. So a collection of similar NFTs. So the first thing you're going to do is sign up on Canva and you can sign up with your email address or your Gmail address, whatever you have. And then you're just going to click on custom size over here. Now over here, you're going to add the width and height of your NFT that you're looking to create. Now you're going to add the same width and same height because obviously NFTs are usually in square formats. And I would recommend that you add 20 by 20 inches. And if you want to convert that into pixels, it's 1920 by 1920. And you can also go for a larger NFT. That's up to you. And you can even create smaller NFTs. I wouldn't recommend ever creating anything below 12 inches because that's going to be too small for an NFT and it really doesn't look good. So we're just going to go with a 20 by 20 canvas. So once you enter that, it's going to open up this black canvas in a new new tab and what we're going to do first off is we're just going to change the color of our canvas so i want to create like, like a pink character like a barbie looking character so i'm just going to go and change the background to like a light pink so i'm just going to search for like a really nice little pink and i'm going to use that as my color i'm just going to drag until i find like the perfect pink I think this looks pretty good. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the element section on the left over here, and I'm just going to search for character. Now, I'm just going to keep on looking. I'm going to go into the graphic section, or if you search for something like a salon, then you can find like female characters and all that. But I'm just going to search for female character like this, and I'm just going to scroll down until i find something that i really like i'm just gonna keep on looking character passport and i'm just gonna go back into the salon section i'm gonna find like one of the characters from there i think this is like a pretty nice character to use i'm just gonna go into see all and see some of the similar characters i think this one is pretty good in itself so i'm just going to expand this and I'm going to place it right at the center of my canvas. Now, once I have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate page and you can duplicate it as many times as you want. So let's say I have it 10 times or however many times. So this is going to be like your standard character and then you can start adding to the collection. But before you actually do that, what I would recommend is first you set the size for the character. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my element section. I'm going to go into lines and shapes. I'm going to take this square box. I'm going to place it right above my character and I'm going to click on send backward. Then I'm going to change the color into like a pink. I'm going to change it to like a darker shade of pink. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just take it and make it a bit darker than the pink that I used in the background. Then I'm going to go into transparency and I'm going to make it like semi-transparent as well. So I'm just going to go over there. And now I'm going to make sure that this box is also centered like this. So once I have done that, what I'm going to do is I want to add some framing design. So I'm going to go back into my element section. And I'm going to search for framing designs. We can just search for frames and it will give you like really nice frames to work with. I think I'm just going to go with borders. And I'm going to add these floral borders onto the corner of my NFT. Now this is totally up to you if you want to like add these like little design elements. I would recommend that you do do it because they look pretty nice in your NFT and people really do find that it looks like it, you put like a lot of effort into your basic NFT when it's like designed like this. So I would recommend that you actually do all of this. And I'm just going to place it all on the corners for all these and I'm just going to copy and paste. So just do control C and control V. Then you can just click on flip horizontally and then you can flip this like so just make sure it's placed right at the corners i'm just going to do Control c and Control v and then i'm just going to flip this i'm going to make this at zero degrees and then i'm going to flip it i'm just going to rotate it like so you can flip it or rotate it it's totally up to you but once i have done that now i can just click on duplicate page 
and I can just start designing my collection. So how do you make a collection out of a single NFT? This is like a singular NFT. Now, what I would do is I would go into my element section, I would search for something like hat. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hat and I'm gonna place it right over here. And I'm gonna rotate it so it fits like the character's head a bit better like so i'm gonna place this over here and now i can just design the next one so this is like the hat nft and now i'm gonna design another one so let's say i search for heart so you can just take like this really like cartoonistic heart and then you can resize it place it over the character's eyes and then you have another nft like so make sure both of the hearts are like the same size otherwise it looks a bit awkward I'm gonna delete this as well and I'm gonna place like the exact same heart over here and now I'm going to just duplicate like the initial basic design and you can keep on going like just to give you guys more ideas um, I would search for flower crown and I would just take like a simple cute little flower crown like this one and I would place it over the character's head like so so I'm just going to place it over here resize it a bit like this and then i can just go back and duplicate the original nft or the original design that i have and just keep on adding more designs so in this fashion you can add as many designs as you want so i have like a hat i have heart i have a heart eyes i have like a flower crown i can also add like guns you can add as many things as you want so you can just search for the target mark and then you can like add like a target mark onto your character and then you can search for maybe something like um like sparkles and then go into the graphic section you can add like sparkles onto the character like this and you can add gifs as well but i wouldn't recommend it when you're doing collections like either make the entire collection with gifs or don't so we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note i would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for consider subscribing to our youtube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.